Okay, so I went and I typed in Blueprint for Downton Abbey, and I actually found something um, crazy. Look how labyrinthine this is. I want my level to feel that way. I don't want to feel like one room, another room. If there shouldn't be four rooms. There should be uh, like 50 rooms in this. No, I'm not going to make 50 rooms in it, but I'm going to make it far more labyrinthine than this. I want this area to be one of the biggest areas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and select some of these and move them around and see if I can't do more of a maze-like entrance. Also, I know I need staircases both down and um, also up. And I, I know how a lot of these old manors had ginormous staircases, much like this. And we're not going to do much more than just put a bunch of lines together and call it a staircase. So I'm going to put the staircase right here. Um, I'm going to do something really easy with these rectangles. And I'm going to change this stroke length down to 0.5. I'm going to draw a couple of these and just duplicate them by holding Alt and dragging out a bunch of them. And I don't have to get this perfect, but I just want to show that there's a big staircase right here. And on this one, I will extend it like that. And then I'll take, I'll take and grab all. I will take and grab all these and unselect this by holding shift. Now I have this and I can duplicate it. So I hold alt, duplicate that out, spin it around. Like so. And I have another part of the staircase. Except for I don't want this one right here, so I'll delete it. Just selecting it and deleting it. I can't lasso select all of them without selecting this, unfortunately. Um, but. What I want is just to select these right here. So I can zoom in here and just hold shift and grab them all. Because I want to scale them down here a little bit like that. All right. And that's a staircase that goes up. Realistically, though, I think it needs to be a bit longer than that. And maybe this whole staircase, let's select that. Maybe this whole staircase would be back against this wall here and go up to that second floor balcony. So I'll make this a little bit longer, keep duplicating these out, and you get the picture. Goes up to that second floor there, all the way up. Okay, so the staircase goes up like that. Very simple. I may do a round staircase somewhere, probably not right here in the main entrance. This will just go up to that second floor balcony right there. Uh, banquet hall. Balcony hall. Let's see. I'm thinking that there'll be a wall right here as well. Kind of over the balcony. And then it'll go this way too. Like that. I'm going to select those two lines and change them back to uh, three point stroke. So we're adding a little bit more detail here. It's looking a little bit better. But you can tell that we have a lot to go in order to achieve something like this. Instead of making you watch me do all that though, because I'm not teaching you any new tools, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and then I will bring you back in the video and just kind of talk about what I did and the decisions I made. So I'll see you then.